Emmanuel, Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel, God with us, Emmanuel. In approximately 12 weeks time, the name Emmanuel will be said, if not sung, up and down the country, often without us embracing its true meaning. At the heart of the name is that God became man and dwelt among us. In biblical scripture, we're told that God created humankind in his own image and that he said, it is good. I like to begin at that place, the place of God knowing that what he had created was good and that I'm not imagining it. I am made in God's image as you equally are. At Sunday school, as a little child, I remember singing this song. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Wow! This great big God thought that I was worthy, that we were worthy enough to enter the world, born of a woman, going through the stages of childhood, becoming vulnerable so that he could really be with us, be with his world. So we have a God who is not aloof, but a God who genuinely cares about humanity, cares whether we are hungry, homeless, experiencing injustice, treated inhumanely, knelt on, pushed aside, ignored. In Matthew 6 we read, look at the bird in the sky. They do not sow or reap in barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more worth than the birds? As we mark Black History Month, we affirm our need to celebrate together the fact that we all are beautifully and wonderfully made in the image of God, the God who dared to become incarnate, the God who dared to become human, because that's what the word incarnate means, God becoming human and living amongst us and with us.